Hello guys, what's going on? Exogen here again for the spawn box and today we are finishing off our gear review for the Corsair Vengeance M60 gaming mouse. We was going to do this with the unboxing video but to be honest, it's kind of a bad way to review a mouse. So what we're going to do now is jump into the review and then once that's done, it'll come back to me and I will give you my honest opinions on whether you should go out and get this mouse or not. So check back in a sec. The Vengeance M60 along with the M90 is actually Corsair's first attempt at creating a gaming mouse, however it is unlikely you'll be able to notice this. The M60 balances style and functionality flawlessly, giving you a solid build which still manages to feel nimble when the time calls. The mouse itself features an aluminium body, the ability to customise weights, a heavy duty scroll wheel, DPI changer, two side buttons and a dedicated sniper button. The Corsair driver software allows you to customise the functionality of all the buttons on the mouse, including messing with the performance such as DPI and polling rate. This also allows you to do a surface quality test and not only that you can save all your settings directly onto the mouse meaning that you don't have to have the drivers installed on all computers. When testing grip styles on the mouse we found that the palm style was not perfect. We found that the thumb buttons just seemed a little bit too far away and your hand felt a little bit raised off the mouse. Overall, it worked okay, but it wasn't ideal. Although not exactly what we expected, the claw grip felt like the most natural grip, with the back of the mouse supporting your palm and wrist almost perfectly and giving you a shorter travel time to clicks. The fingertip grip is also my grip of choice, and I have to say, at first this mouse did not feel perfect. It felt like it was a little bit heavy to be holding with both fingers, but after getting used to the mouse, I have to say, it works pretty well. It's not the best fingertip grip mouse out there, but it's definitely usable. Finally, we took the mouse into some games to give it some real testing. We played some Tribes, some Quake Live and some Battlefield 3. I have to say the mouse performed extremely well, better than what I was expecting. However, it did take me a little while to get used to. The first three or four hours of gaming felt horrible and that could be expected with almost any new mouse. So finally, after I got used to the weight, I thought it was only right to test the mouse on a range of sensitivities and DPIs. The results were quite consistent. Not once did it skip, lag or jerk, including the test on the four different surfaces, which were wood, leather, cloth and rubber. The mouse is one of the best mouse I have ever had the pleasure of testing. Although it may not be perfect for everybody out there, I do believe that most people would have a pleasurable gaming experience using it. The one feature I did not enjoy with this mouse however is the dedicated sniper button. I believe that these buttons do nothing but decrease the actual performance of the person playing the game. Unless you have been brought up with this button and you are used to doing it, trying to get used to doing it from your old style will only cause you to play worse. I tried this again and again and again with the same results. I find the change in sensitivity too great and too frustrating to actually be able to use effectively. The other problem is the position of the button. I asked five friends to help me test this out and out of us five, only one of us could reach the button comfortably. Luckily in the driver software you can change the functionality and that's what we did so it is at least usable now. The one thing that I am known for in gaming is my accuracy. So I was very surprised to see my average accuracy raised by about 5-10% to while using this mouse and that is possibly why I do love this mouse so much. So Corsa, I believe the congratulations are in order. Ok guys, so for my conclusion on the Corsair Vengeance M60 gaming mouse, I have to say I'm actually quite impressed. I didn't think I'd be so impressed with it being Corsair's first like attempt at making a gaming mouse. I think they've done a very good job, but there are a few things which I can't help but saying and niggling at the back of my mind. Such as this scroll wheel. It feels amazing, it's got a nice click, it looks gorgeous, but it rattles. It might only sound like a petty little thing, but when you're actually gaming on a low sensitivity like me, it does actually tingle quite a lot and that can be a bit frustrating just bear in mind though guys that could just be mine it might not be all of them so see if anybody else has had the same problem the other thing is the sniper button I hate these buttons on mice I think they're one of the worst inventions ever if you've not played with this button all your life you're probably going to find it very hard to adjust I did try my best when reviewing it to use it but I just couldn't get into it it just wasn't for me it's in a bad position as well if you're palming the mouse if you've not got very long lanky fingers you just can't reach the button and that just makes it a bit of a wasted button I kind of wish they just put another button a little bit further in and it would have been okay 
Going on to the stuff that I really do like about it, I think the design is nice and sleek. I like the rubbery feel. I like the weight of it. I thought it might have been a little bit too heavy with all the weight modules and it being made of metal, but it doesn't feel like It's actually lighter than the Rat 7, so yeah, it's not that bad. If you thought it was going to be too heavy for you, I'd tell you, go and try it first. The sensor itself works amazingly well. I've not had no problems, not as it once skipped, not a single once as this laser let me down on the bottom of it. And that is a good thing. You know that's a good thing. So that is why I really like this mouse. If I was to recommend you go and get a mouse, which is like this, I couldn't because this is the only mouse you would want to get. This is much better than the Rat7 and much better than, there have been a few other metal mice, but no, this is much better than them. It looks really good. It works really well. The only problem at the moment is the software for the drivers isn't working perfectly, but Corsair promised a fix to that. So by the time you're watching this video, it's more than likely already been fixed. So yeah, anyway guys, that is the end of the video. I would recommend you go out and buy this mouse if you are looking for a new mouse. So yeah, that is it. Rate, comment and subscribe. I've been Exogen. Thanks for watching the video. We're going to have more like this coming up soon. And yeah, check back later. Okay, so if you are now interested in buying this mouse and you live in the UK or certain parts of Europe, I would recommend you go and check out scan.co.uk. They are Corsair partners and they are also one of the biggest resellers in the UK. They have won multiple awards for their customer service and I really do recommend these guys. So please go and check them out, like them on Facebook, follow them on Twitter and they have daily deals. So you might even be able to get it cheaper than the amazing price they've already got. Thanks for watching the video guys. See you in a bit. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Please do make sure you try and follow us on all of our networks, such as subscribe on YouTube, follow us on Twitter, and like us on Facebook. On the top right-hand side box, you will see a let's talk about why I think that Modern Warfare 3 is an evil game. And on the top left, it's a random video. Don't know what I'm going to put there yet, but click on it anyway and try your luck. Thanks. comments or make a video response and i'll stick it in the channel it, it's all good guys you are more than entitled to have your own opinions so now we've got that out of the way i'm going to start off by making one big sweeping statement which a lot of you guys are going to totally hate but here it is anyway call of duty modern warfare 3 sucks so hard that it kills kittens in its sleep that might sound over the top but trust me guys it is true any game which totally destroys its skill ceiling and tries to make it equal for all players of all skill levels fails it fails hard maybe not sales wise i mean a lot of casual players that aren't very good at the game enjoy the game mainly because they have their hand held all the way through the game and they're given so many little perks and advantages and kind of pushing in the right direction by infinity ward and whoever developed that version of call of duty that all of a sudden they have got a little bit of advantage over really skilled players and that is just stupid guys i mean why would